Hello Year 5 and 6. So we're on day 5 of the Narrative Writing Unit. Um, so this week's been all about really getting to know that model text and using that to get an understanding of adventure stories and short story writing. Um, so hopefully you've got really good understanding of the vocabulary in that text and the words that are used in it. Um, and you've got an understanding of all the main events that happen and you've summarised it. So today we're going to have a look at questions from the text. Um, so I will share PowerPoint and we'll have a look through together. OK, um, so you can see we are here on day five. So we're going to reread the model text and then use it to answer retrieval, vocabulary and inference questions. Okay, so on this, um, in this video, you can pause it and on each screen there will be a paragraph of the text and then there will be some questions from that paragraph. So you should be able to do the whole of today's task using this video. However, if you would prefer to use the resource pack, you have the text in there and you have the questions written down in there as well. So it's up to you, it's whichever works better for you, whichever is easier for you. Okay, so this is the opening paragraph of the story, Treasure Hunts, and there are four questions. So I've labelled each question with an R for if it's a retrieval question, B if it's vocabulary, and I for if it's an inference question. OK, so your retrieval questions are the ones where the answer should be straight in the text. You're just trying to pick out that information and find it in the text. Um, they're the questions that probably take us the least amount of time to answer, although we do need to do that skimming and scanning to find the right section of the text. So this first one is a retrieval question. And it says, in this first paragraph, write down two things that Dwayne is looking at as he is walking. So we're looking for the things that Dwayne is looking at. So I'm scanning over and I'm scanning for the word looking, seeing, or I'm thinking about things that he can see in that setting. When I found the answer, I'm going to write it down in a sentence. Dwayne is looking at and OK, so with those retrieval ones, scanning through the text, your vocabulary is showing that you understand what the different words mean, that you can think of synonyms, that you know what phrases mean. OK, so our vocabulary question here, what does the word dawdling tell us about the way Dwayne is walking? So we need to know what the word dawdling means. You might think where you've come across it before. Stop that dawdling parent might say to you. Um, so what does it tell us about the way he's walking? Can you describe the way you think he's walking? Um, and why do you think he's walking in that way? So actually there's a little bit of inference in there as well. You're inferring. I know he's dawdling and this tells me that how do you think he's feeling? Great. Yeah. Okay. And then the fourth question is an inference question. So how are Eliza and Dwayne's emotions different in the first paragraph? So how are they different from each other? So what do you think Eliza's emotions are like? What are Dwayne's emotions are like? But I want you to use evidence from the text to support your answer. So you might say something like, in the text it says, and then put your quote on. Okay, so in the rest of this video, you can see there are the sections of the text and questions. And then at the end, there is an extension question if you want to do that. So it says the story ends on a cliffhanger. Write the next paragraph of the story to show what happens to Eliza and Dwayne once they find the treasure. So a nice extension task for you to sink your teeth into if you get that far. OK, so what I'll do is get rid of my face from the corner. Now I'll actually get rid of it properly. Um, and then I'll scroll through the video and stop on each slide so that you can have a go at answering those questions. Okay, good luck. 